Hi there, this is Robert, a certified SOLIDWORKS professional, and I'm here to share with you a little bit about uh, SOLIDWORKS in one of our quick tips videos. We're going to talk about linking equations in an external file so that way you can share your global variables and your equations between SOLIDWORKS part files. Uh, here I've got a pr uh, practical example. We're going to be editing this valve piece here that I've created as well as the port that it goes into and we're going to link the diameters across between them in this file. So here we have our valve, just a simple make, and I've added uh, just one dimension to this. The rest of it's just free sketched. But we have this diameter here. And it would be nice if I could define this diameter somewhere and have it update in all of my models automatically uh, so that way I wouldn't have to change each one of them and that is pretty easy to do so we're gonna exit out of this really quick and we're going to go to tools and then equations in equations this is the 2012 interface 2013 looks about the same you can do it in either one we're gonna create a global variable and we're gonna call this diameter it's going to represent the diameter of our part. You want to put, make sure you put it in quotes because that's part of the syntax. Hit tab. There we go. I'm going to put in the value. I want this thing to have a diameter of 2. Hit enter. And so you can see that the evaluated is there. So that's done. We're going to click OK. All right. So now we're going to go back into our sketch and it's going to show us two inches here. I'm going to double click on that and now instead of saying two I'm going to say equals two and I can either hit the double quotes and type in diameter right or I can hit globe, uh, just highlight over global variables click on diameter it'll enter the syntax for me. Click OK. Got that little epsilon symbol there that means that it is an equation. Exit the sketch now if we want to, we can manage this through our equations. You can get there either by clicking Tools, Equations, or you've got your Equations folder here that shows all your values. You can right-click on the folders and hit Manage Equations. Here we go. So it's added an equation here, D1 at Sketch 1 is equal to diameter, which is what I entered before. That's the diameter 1 in that sketch. So we're going to do, now, now for the linking, we're going to create a file. I'm going to click Link to External File. I'm going to create a new file. It's going to choose a location for it. I'm okay with it there. And I'm going to click link. So now it's linking both of these values. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to show you. I'm going to open up my Windows Explorer here. Go to the desktop. I've got equations txt that I just created and I'll open it. So it's a text file. If I wanted to, I can come in here and actually change it manually. Diameter equals 3. Hit save. Close that, get rid of that, and then when I hit the rebuild button in SOLIDWORKS, watch it's going to jump in size. Boom. So there it is. Now it is a 3 circle. And if I double click on it, you can see the equation is updated. Now the diameter is 3. So if you wanted to manage your equations just by going into, a, uh, into the text editor, change all your global variables, all your mod models will update automatically. Let's save that. Now I've got here another part that represents the port. I just hand sketched this one as well. It's got a diameter 2. It's out of the sketch. So this one is also manually entered for the diameter. It's just a revolve. And um, I want to link this to the other diameter. So I'm going to exit the sketch. I'm going to go to Tools and then Equations. And instead of manually entering the global variable again, I can just click link to external file. This time I'm going to link to an existing file and browse to it. Equations TXT. There's my preview. Click OK. Hit link. And now it's linked to those variables. Now it brought over the equation as well. You want to be aware of this. D1 at Sketch 1 exists in this uh, in this model as well as that other diameter dimension. You want to make sure that you name these cleverly. You can rename these variables uh, so that way you don't have conflicts. I want to be really careful that we don't get that. So I'll show you how to rename those. For now I'm going to call it D1, but if I were to import this into another part, if there was a D1 at Sketch 1, it's going to overwrite whatever value you had. So you got to be ca cautious of that. I'm going to click OK. And 
Now my part's updated automatically. Inner diameter is three inches. It's excellent. So let's show you how to rename dimensions really quick. So um, let's edit the sketch. Now when you select any um, dimension at all, you're going to get over here this primary value. Now it's grayed out because it won't let me change it because it's being controlled by the equation. But I can make a new dimension here. And let's see, let's give this guy a name. So let's make him five long. And then instead of calling it D2 at sketch one, I can call it like length. Now it's the length at sketch one. I'm going to click OK. And so now when I reselect it, it says length. Um, by cleverly naming your things, you can avoid unintentional cross-referencing. So there we go. Got my circle. And just to show you that it works, we're going to go, I made an assembly of the two parts. Yes, they updated. All right, so they fit right into each other. And once again, oh, I clicked the wrong button. I apologize. So now... If I want to, I can bring up my text file again, and I'm going to make them 2.5. Save that, close it, get rid of that. Hit Control Q on my keyboard is the same as hitting that rebuild. Shrank a little bit. There we go. And if we get out our measure tool here and measure that, diameter 2.5. So in this way, we can rapidly update all of our files from one central location and keep track of all of our global variables.